Hello and welcome to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'm your host, Kip K. If you've been around at all, I'm sure you've seen plenty of spud guns, mini spud guns, potato cannons. We just featured a Gatling gun potato cannon a, a month or so ago. Well, on today's weekend project, we're going to build something a little bit different. It's called the Night Lighter, and it's got some very cool features you've probably never seen before in a potato cannon. Let's build it. The Stun Gun Potato Cannon, or as William Gerstel calls it, the Night Lighter, is found in Make Volume 3. To build it, you'll need some 2-inch and 3-inch clear Schedule 40 PVC. Now this stuff is not that easy to find, but you can locate it online, or even some plastic suppliers may have it. But that's just one thing that makes this potato cannon unique. Our barrel will be a 36-inch piece of 2-inch diameter, and the edges of that need to be tapered, so I use my Dremel and a grinding wheel just to grind down the edge so it's uh, kind of sharp on the end and it'll cut through a potato. The 3 inch diameter by 14 inch long piece of PVC will be our combustion chamber, which is where we'll install our spark plugs. So I'll make a mark 4 inches from one end and drill out a hole using a 15 64 inch bit. And then drill another hole 4 inches in exactly opposite from that hole. Our spark plugs will be 2 quarter inch by 2 inch long bolts, along with 2 matching nuts for each of them. And they will be screwed into each hole in our combustion chamber. Now don't screw them in too tight, you want to have about a quarter inch gap in between both of those bolts. Now it's time to put everything together using some PVC primer and PVC cement. To join our barrel and our combustion chamber, we're going to use a 3 to 2 inch reducing adapter. And so it's time to go ahead and put those together by primering up both pieces and adding some PVC cement and then putting them together. Then attached to the other end of our combustion chamber will be a 3 inch adapter with a threaded end. So primer those two pieces up and add some PVC cement and join those two pieces together. And now it's time for our power source which is a 100,000 volt mini stun gun. Some crimp on connectors will be used to attach to our contact points on our stun gun and along with some 10 gauge wire and some spade connectors, we're going to join everything together. Now the last thing we want is stray voltage, so I'm going to use some liquid electrical tape and apply a generous amount to the test leads on the stun gun and also some to all of the connections. The stun gun needs to be attached to our combustion chamber and that'll be accomplished by using a couple of hose clamps and making them nice and tight. And then our final connection needs to be made with our spade connectors and those will be attached to our spark plug bolts. I decided to use one zip tie just to hold the wires in place so that they wouldn't be loose. And again, don't forget to coat all of your connections in liquid electrical tape. Okay, the night lighter is finished and built and ready to test out. Uh, the last step would be to uh, take our potato and we're going to stuff it inside of our tube here. And then on the back there's a, this threaded plug which will come off and our deodorant will be sprayed in here, the plug reattached, and then we will hit it with our stun gun and launch our potato projectile. The potato of your choosing needs to be stuffed in real tight in our barrel, and you also uh, will need to use a dowel and push that down about 30 inches into the barrel. Our propellant is deodorant with an inactive ingredient of butane, and about a three second squirt seems to be about right. <laughs> a little bit. That one you got to do. Not yeah. quite as tight. Well, not, you did it twice. That's right? what happens when you have a potato in there that isn't all the way uh, tight inside the tube. You want to have no air escaping, so you get kind of a backfire. Not a backfire, but just a dud. A potato. -ed. Now you must exercise extreme care and be responsible using this potato cannon, and also keep in mind that it may not be legal in your area. And that's how to make the night lighter. A stun gun potato cannon. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.